Hello everyone, we are back with WordPress for Designers Day 17 here on blog.themeforce.net. I am Drew Douglas and we are ready to tackle our uh, back-end uh, slider integration. Um, you'll remember that we right now we just kind of have our slider um, hard-coded with the HTML just straight into one of our theme files. And we talked about how um, even though that works and gets the job done, it's not really quite that flexible, especially for an end user. Um, so let's say we were, uh, you know, selling this or or doing this theme uh, for a client, someone who is not very tech savvy that was going to use it all the time, you know, and and they know uh, no HTML or anything like that, and they want to add another image to the slider. Well, if if they were doing it right now, they would have to go in, find, you know. Uh, upload the image you know via FTP put it in a list item you know link to it update the total you know for a little counter thing and, and they'd have to do all kinds of stuff so um, using a bunch of WordPress um, functions and options we can actually pretty much automate this and make it really really easy on the end user so uh, that's all we're gonna do and focus on today is just gonna be one file um, I'm going to take it especially slow today for two reasons. Uh, one is just because this is probably the most complicated thing um, that we're going to have done, um, you know, so far. Um, and then two is just because I'm, you know, as always, following some notes I have here, um, as I don't, I don't like copy and pasting the code. I like walking you guys through the code line by line, and I want to make sure I don't mess up anywhere and I don't miss anything. So. I'm going to take it extra slow today, and we are going to have a working, um, you know, back-end integrated slider when we're done with this. So stick through it. I think you'll really learn something. Okay, let's go ahead and um, open up Firefox here. Oh, come on now. My computer's just been running really slow with all my, uh, there we go. Whenever I have the, uh, you know, video recording software running it always seems to eat up some of my memory as you can see I got the beach ball going okay yeah I wanted to mention that there's recently been a uh, WordPress 2.8.4 security release it was kinda all over the place but um, people were able to uh, reset the admin password so go ahead and upgrade to 2.8.4 if you haven't since you know just save yourself a headache there uh, I just wanted to mention that quickly Okay, so here's where we left off. Um, we had our slider, and you know it works. And it, it works just fine how it is now, but we don't want it hard coded. Um, so what we're going to do is go into Coda. And I gotta get Coda up here. Okay, and if we open up featured section.php, this is going to be the only page we're going to be working with. I'm going to go ahead and copy the contents of this file, and just uh, kind of preserve it here, and just a uh, a new blank file just because I want to be able to refer back to how we did things the old way compared to how we're going to do them uh, now. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of all that and the first thing you'll notice here is we have a div ID of featured section. So we will just put in our div ID of featured section. We're going to recreate all the markup that we just had um, and we'll go ahead and throw that div in there, close it and as soon as we go down then we we'll realize well uh oh we already have hard coded you know text here our title and our and our content and all of that so how are we going to pull that out and that's where we'll go back to Firefox we'll go into our back end and you'll see I have a new post here called our portfolio I'm going to click edit okay first thing I want you to notice is under category I've added a new category named slider and I've put this um, this one post under the slider category so we will only ever have one post in this category and it will be um, for our front page slider in our, our featured section so I've gone ahead and I've given it a title which is our portfolio just some really basic dummy text and then uh, the most important thing here is I've used uh, the built-in WordPress um, you know media library I guess you would call it if you come over here where it says upload uh, slash insert and you click on the first icon it'll say add media files from your computer you can select files 
so if you go ahead and select file I'll show you now and I'll just go over to you know, the koala bear I select it and once it's uploaded it will bring me to this page where I can put in the caption and uh, a few other things and, and click save all changes so if I go to the gallery now you can see that I have five images um, I'm gonna get rid of the koala we just added because uh, we don't want a duplicate there I'll click delete okay okay so now that we're on the gallery page we can see that this post our, the, our portfolio post has four different images um, that are attached along with the post they're not inserted into the post although you can do that you can insert an entire gallery if you want these uh, images are just for now associated with this post ID so uh, yeah make sure you remember that, that until you insert the images like if we wanted them to be literally inserted um, you know for like a blog post kind of thing then, then we can do that but right now they're just associated with our post ID and for this uh, particular post so now we can exit out of that um, once you've added your four images so go ahead and take your time and add as many images as you want and uh, you would just go ahead and click update post okay so now what we have we have a, a post in, in a category that, it, that is essentially holding all of the information that we need for our slider because our slider is really nothing more than four images a title and a few s and a, you know some text then of course the buttons with uh, the little bit the counters you know per image on them so we're going to go back knowing that um, to our featured section and we're going to make our div class of slide info which is going to going to hold some of more of our information again if you refer back to our old markup you'll see that we had this exact class so uh, we're, we're going to stick to the same uh, markup and uh, naming procedures as we have been however inside of div class slide infos we're going to do things completely different um, since we want to pull from the back end we're going to use a custom WordPress loop and, and or you know query here um, using the WP query object so I'm going to open up some PHP tags and I'm going to create a new variable called slider posts which is going to be an object so we'll say new WP query because we want a new WP query object that we can work with now I'm going to say slider posts and I'm going to query whoops okay and I'm going to say show posts is equal to one there shouldn't be more than that anyway so that shouldn't be a problem and then I'm gonna say cat for category is equal to the category ID of slider which is four um, you can find that out from the back end of WordPress if you didn't know that okay so now we've set up our query uh, we're gonna go ahead and run a while loop here we're gonna say while slider posts have posts colon slider posts the post okay so now we're inside of a while loop um, next thing we're gonna do is we need the title so like before we'll wrap it in some header tags some h3 tags and you'll remember from way back in the early WordPress for designer days that the title is nothing more than a call to the title when you're inside a loop next we need the content if you refer back once again we had our title here and then we had our content underneath um, so we'll just say PHP the content and we're also going to throw this little you know interface plus design plus CSX HTML and they're just hard-coded we could figure out another way you know to pull that out from the back end but you know this isn't a really a big deal just an extra paragraph okay so now we have our div slide or div class with slide info and it is already pretty much containing everything we'll need um, information wise not images but you know it already contains the title and the content and that's all we really needed to pull out um, for this little section right here we'll get to the buttons and images here in a second but you know we already have the title and 
and uh, and the content already being pulled here. So now what we're going to do is make a new class called div class container, which is just like our old one. And inside of that is going to be another div class of slides. Go ahead and close those off now so I can try to keep track of all this markup here. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit more PHP that I'm going to need to spend some time talking about. Um, if you refer to the link I'm going to put below, um, Chris Coye and uh, Jeff Starr, I believe Jeff Starr was the one that actually published this article, but, but they run this Digging Into WordPress site, which is fairly new, but it's got some really good stuff on it. And uh, when I was preparing for this just the other day, I came across one of their posts, uh, Awesome Image Attachments Recipes for WordPress. And basically it did, um, really went in depth in talking about how to pull out uh, you know, images in different ways and, and things like that from WordPress. So if you do want to um, check out this post, we're going to be working with this code down here under the heading of Display All Attachments for Each Post. If you want to run through some of this and, and give it a read, this is uh, almost the exact code we'll be using. So um, again, you know, thanks to Chris Coyier and Jeff Starr, who always seem to be helpful with the things they post. Um, we're going to be using something very similar to this code right here, um, which is basically allowing us to pull out every image in a given post and display it. So without further ado, let's do that. The first thing we're going to do is set a variable and we're going to create an array out of it. You can do that by just saying array. And next up we are going to pass in some parameters here. So we're going to say order, you know, something like uh, ascending. Uh, the next item will be post type. And we'll just say the attachment because we are obviously looking for the image attachments post parent so the um, you know the post identifier the post parent is going to be uh, the post ID and we can use this since we're inside of a loop right now the post mime type that is going to be image because we are looking for images I was going to try to keep this array a little more formatted. I apologize. Post status. And the value of that will be null. Oops. And lastly, number of posts, and we'll point that to negative one. You don't really need to worry about what all this means. It should be pretty self explanatory. Um, basically, we're just setting up an array of different arguments that we can later um, pa uh, pass to a WordPress function called get posts. So again, if, if you want to read more about this, I, I recommend going to the link I have below to that page um, on digging into WordPress. Anyway, now we're going to say attachments, create a new variable called attachments, and we're going to make a call to get posts, and then we will pass in the argument array. So that will store some information for us. Now we will put in a conditional statement that says, if attachments is true, then we're going to do something. So if there were um, some kind of attachments according to our query that we just ran, we're going to do something. The first thing we're going to do is set, set up a variable called slider total. And we're going to say count attachments. This will give us a total count of the number of attachments um, because it comes out in an array form and we are going to use that number for later for, um, well, we're going to use it for this. We're going to use that total number for this, this 4 right here instead of hard coding it. Okay, so we'll say um, if attachments is true, we'll set the slider total and next we're just going to run a really basic for each loop that outputs the images. So we'll say for each attachments as attachment singular, say echo, open up a div, uh, we'll say wp get 
attachment link and we'll say attachment ID full and full stands for we want the full size image not a thumbnail or not a scaled down version false means it's not going to link to <coughs> a, um, an, a an, an attachment page it'll just link directly to the image um, and that's all we need to pass to that function and lastly we'll close our div so that one line right here this little echo line that is what will actually output the image um, the WP get attachment link function will grab the attachment ID which in this case is one of our images we will wrap it in an anchor tag and uh, and throw it in there for us so um, yeah that that's that I don't really think that needs any more explaining so that's outputting um, each one of our attachment images one by one right there in the for each loop okay and and that really is is uh, outputting our images so we can move on from that and now we just have some basic copy and pasting to do so we'll come over here to div class of featured button um, this can stay hard coded as it won't change and just like so and we can do the same thing for our portfolio button this also won't be changing at least nothing besides the text inside of the anchor tag <coughs> okay and now um, for what I think was actually kind of one of the trickier parts even though in, in hindsight it's not really that tricky at all but um, it just requires a little bit of thinking beforehand take a look here at the bottom and well let's look at our old one first okay notice that we have an unordered list of uh, with the class of pagination and we have you know one two three four and then we have a total um, which is out of four so we had to come in here and hard code this knowing that we had four images and our total was out of four well I told you earlier that we can get that number four or however many attachments there happen to be by using the PHP count function functions excuse me on the um, on the attachments array so now uh, we have we have access to that four now or whatever that number happens to be the total number of attachments but now the question comes in is how do we you know output without having to hard code anything how do we output you know a, a custom um, list item with the number in it for each one uh, for each image that there is and I'm sure a lot of you are thinking right now uh, that that could be accomplished with a loop and you are absolutely right so um, we're gonna do that now so we will start an unordered list with a class of pagination <coughs> I apologize if I'm starting to lose my voice here I think I might be because I talk too much <laughs> okay and inside of that unordered list we're going to open up some PHP tags once again we're going to say for I equals one and I is going to be equal to one because we know we have at least one attachment there's got to be some kind of image there or at least there should be and that's good enough for now uh, we'll say I well I is less than or equal to the slider total and you'll remember that this is a variable that we saved up here on line 31 um, which is a count of our total um, attachments so while I is less than or equal to slider total we will say I plus plus okay and I'm actually not going to use the brackets here I'm going to go for the WordPress syntax which is like so okay so now inside of our loop what do we want to do well we just want to do something like this we want to echo out some list item tags with an anchor inside of them and inside in between the anchor we want there to be whoops the number um, you know the current number the current count so we'll say echo uh, you know list item anchor uh, I and close the anchor in the list item so that'll go you know one two three four for as many uh, attachments as we have I hope that makes sense I don't know if I'm explaining that that well and then we'll go ahead and end our for loop now you might be thinking well what about the the last you know list item of total here what 
you know you ended the for loop before you could put that in so how are we going to get that um, and we actually need to put that outside of the for loop because um, because we already have that information so we don't need we don't need to loop any of that we can actually just hard code it like so um, and then just right in between the anchor tags we will just echo the count the total and we'll uh, preserve how we had it earlier like that and then we'll say slider count oh, or slider total Did I save it as slider total or slider count slider total I'm losing it today guys alrighty format that a little better okay okay and um, if we look up here we will notice that our um, while loop is still open so we can go ahead and end that and save it okay so we've gone from this you know little hard-coded HTML to some more powerful um, PHP and WordPress functions to pull out all of that out of the back end so we've you know we've saved our featured section now um, the moment of truth we should refresh and nothing should change um, you know because it be, and, but everything should be coming out of the back end section now so if we refresh you'll see nothing's changed if I go next I can still see all of the attachments that I added you know we can make sure that still works by adding you know one more image so let's add an image to the gallery and we'll just add uh, oh I don't know another what another bird thing a kookaburra We'll call it crazy bird and we will save all changes get out of there and update the post and this is where you can really see how useful it is if I come over here refresh my page you'll see that that is updated to one out of five if I scroll through we'll see there's the bird once there's the cat and the bird again before looping back to the first image so that's pretty cool I don't know if you ask me that's um, you know that's how we integrate our slider into the back end the only thing the user has to do now is just come in here assign you know if they don't already have the post made assign a post to a, the slider category type in a quick title and some text and then just use the really easy WordPress um, you know media manager to add a few image files they add the files save the post and and this is what they get you get a really nice slider effect without having to do much so um, if you got it, if you understand it all right now, you can uh, cut off right here. But what I want to do is just kind of walk through what we just did one more time um, from line 1 down to line 63 just to make sure um, that everybody understands. Um, we started off with our basic markup as always. We came over here and we set up a, a new object using WP Query, um, which is obviously a class somewhere in WordPress. We use that to we set up a custom query and we want to show one post um, in the category ID of four, which is our slider category we created. We created a basic WordPress loop within our uh, query that you should be used to. On line eleven is where we inserted our title and our content and a little a um, little more content there. Line 17 is where we start getting ready for our images. We, we wrap it in the, the two div class containers and, uh, and we get ready to set up some PHP. Our arguments array held all of the necessary array information for the call to get posts that we would have on the next line. So you'll notice we passed arguments to get posts and it used those arguments to make a, a, a query of the attachments for us. We m then made sure that the attachments actually existed made a count of the total number of them and then we looped through the attachments one by one and we output them to the browser um, in the same format that we did earlier um, when we had this hard coded um, we scroll down to line 42 and we added our featured button and our portfolio button which did not change at all and then lastly we needed our pagination um, unordered list so we opened up an unordered list tag and we started a for loop uh, we just counted the number of times uh, we set 
the variable i equal to 1, and while i was less than the total number of attachments, we added 1 to it. Then we output a, cust or a, a basic list item uh, class with an anchor and the current number um, of, you know, the current image number that we're on. After the for loop ended, we put in our list class of total, which lists the total number of images, and we just used our slider total variable that we already had earlier up here um, for that count. We ended our final custom loop that we set up with WP query object, and we close our final div. And that is all she wrote, guys. Um, that is how it's done. That's how we did it. So, uh, what page do you guys want to do? Um, next time, um, it's really up to you. You let me know what you want to knock out. There's still at least, I know, I think three, maybe even four um, more big pages and things we could do. Uh, we could do a contact form. We could just, you know, knock out another one of these pages up here. So I'm all ears, guys, as always. Uh, let me know what you want to do. Uh, do us a favor. Please do us a big favor and go ahead and subscribe to our RSS feed if you haven't already. I know a lot of you have, and I really do appreciate that. Um, it really helps us bring all of these to, uh, to you guys free of charge. So uh, I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. Let me know what you want to do next time. Let me know what questions you have. As always, happy WordPress coding, and have a wonderful day.